This is the News at 11. I'm Vic Carter. We're following ongoing developments as a man convicted of murder and released 20 years later has now had his conviction reinstated. Adnan Sayed was released last September. He was convicted of the 1999 murder of classmate and ex girlfriend Heyman Lee. At the time, the Baltimore City State's Attorney's Office said it was not confident in the evidence that convicted him. Today, the appeals court said the state violated Lee's family's rights when they didn't give them enough time to attend the hearing in person when they dropped the charges last year. Marilyn Mosby, the former city state's attorney, said in a statement, quote, This decision sets a dangerous precedent over a prosecutor's ability to reverse an injustice. We notify the victim's family in line with Maryland law and best practices, and they attended virtually and spoke. To now send this case back to court prolongs the pain for the Lee family and leaves a cloud hanging over a man who deserves to be free, Adnan Syed. WJC is live at 11. Kelsey Kistner, you've spoken with the lawyer representing Lee's family. What do they have to say? Well, Vic, the lawyer for Heyman Lee's family tells me, you know, that they understand that this doesn't mean that Anand Syed is going to be sent back to prison immediately, but instead it will kind of give them a redo of that hearing, if you will, one that will give the family enough time, enough notice to attend in person. Nearly six months ago, Adnan Syed walked out of the courthouse exonerated after serving more than 20 years for the murder of his ex-girlfriend, Heyman Lee. Now there are new questions about whether he'll remain free. In a decision released Tuesday, the Maryland Court of Special Appeals ruled to reinstate the original convictions and sentence for Syed and call for a new hearing, claiming a lower court violated the victim's family's rights to have been notified and attend the hearing on the state's motion to vacate Syed. Syed's conviction. The lawyer for Heyman Lee's family, Steve Kelly, says this is a major win. They just want it to be done the right way. That's all they're asking for. Heyman Lee's brother, Young Lee, who lives in California, requested a redo of the hearing back in January, saying he didn't have enough notice to attend in person and was required to join virtually. Attorney Adam Ruther says this decision to grant a new hearing will give Lee's brother enough notice to attend in person. This decision only puts the case back in the position it was in before that hearing took place. It does not determine whether the same outcome might ultimately take place once a new hearing is conducted. Syed, whose case gained national attention when it became the subject of the podcast serial, has maintained his innocence. In a statement to WJZ, his friend and advocate, Rabia Chaudhry, says, we stand by the integrity of the evidence that exonerated Adnan and urge the Baltimore City Police and State's Attorney's Office to find the source of the DNA on the victim's shoes and find Heyman Lee's actual killer. Kelly says Lee's family is hopeful this new hearing will get them one step closer Closer to finding closure. If it's supposed to be vacated, if, if that's the result that should be done, and that's what the court decides, that you know the family will accept it, but they want to see it done the right way. Now, Syed's legal team said in a statement to WJZ in part that they believe that Lee's appearance, although it was virtual, is sufficient. They also said that they plan on pushing this up to the Supreme Court of Maryland to review. We also reached out to the Baltimore City State's Attorney's Office. They tell us in a statement that they are going to wait and see how this all plays out. Reporting live tonight, Kelsey Kushner for WJZ.